Hi guys, welcome back to Astro Photography Class. In today's video, I want to be teaching you all about histograms and how they work for astro photography. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. So in order to pull up a histogram, I remember squawking. In order to pull up the histogram, you click Ctrl L or you can click Ctrl M for curves. But in this video, we're going to be using levels. So as you can see, this is called the peak point right here. This little histogram area, this um, white little graph right here is called the peak point. And basically, that is where all your detail lies. All the detail in your astro image, or basically any image, that's where all the detail lies. So, a histogram works like this. There's a bright point and a dark point. So basically, the 255 is the brightest point, and 0 is the darkest point. And this peak point right here, where the midtone slider is near, which is right here, um, this is called the peak point, and it's basically your detail in the image. All, all the detail that it lies inside your image. The actual detail you can see. As you can see, most of the details are already pulled out from this image, but we have too much light pollution. And that's where the black point comes in. The black point is basically where it takes down the darker areas in the image and gets rid of those. So you see, it's getting rid of those darker areas, but once we come into this histogram, we start to get something called vignetting. And this is because it's taking too much of the dark points away. It's starting to take the whiter points away, the lighter points. And so, what this issue is is because this issue is happening because we're clipping into this histogram the actual detail, and that's why it's taking this area away is because we're clipping into the detail, and it thinks that's what it is. It's detail, so we're clipping into that basically when we take it in. As you can see, if we go all the way past this histogram, basically once we get past it and go all the way to the edge where there's no more white line, all of our detail is gone. Most of our detail lies in this big graph right here, as you can see when we help when we Put the black point up more. As you can see, all the detail comes back when we go through this big leap histogram. That's because all our detail lies in there. And this midtone slider basically brings out more of that detail. And that's what's called stretching. And then in order to get rid of the light pollution, take them the black point in order to get rid of some of that excess darker stuff in the image. But she now causes something called vignetting because we're taking a little bit of this away. And that's what happens when you do that. And in order to get rid of this, we do a background removal in order to get rid of it again. But that's for another video. So basically, that's how an RGB channel histogram works for astrophotography. To stretch it, you just take up the midtone slider, take the black point slider, and do it over and over again. So in this channel, we're going to switch to the red channel. So basically, let's say you want well, to reset this real quick. So basically, let's say you have too much red in your image like we do right now. Sorry about my bird squawking. <laughs> so basically, let's say you have too much red in your image. In order to take that down, you take the black point down, and but you don't want to clip the histogram. As you can see, if we clip the histogram right here, this is where all the red detail is. If you see, now we're getting rid of all the red detail. But if we're going now, now as you see, when we come back, it's starting to give our red detail back. But there's, there's red right here. But the image is not red because we don't, you know, the image is not balanced, basically. So to balance it, we take the black point slider down and... Basically, we're taking away some red, and uh, it's going to give us more of the other values because the red is not as intense, basically. And then this midtone slider can take up the red channel and give us more red detail. And what it, this is what I mean, detail, not you know, not just the values, but the detail. It gives us more detail. And this is basically taking away the non-detail parts, unless of course you go over the histogram right here. It's going to take away some of that detail like the shadow around the Andromeda galaxy we see there, right here. When we go past the histogram, it takes that completely away from the red channel. But yeah, that's basically how it works with channels too. So basically what it's doing is it's taking the point from the channel, the red point from the channel, and it's bringing the reds down. The Because you know the max value of 255 and the dark point of zero. 255 being your max value of the, that's basically white completely, and zero being nothing, there's no detail. Um, so basically when you're taking that down, the red channel, as you can see, it's completely, that's basically how it works. It's just basically when you're taking it down, that's what it does, like that. And basically this is the detail. And this white point slider is basically the opposite of the black point slider, it basically takes it up all the way and we show more red, but we don't show more detail, we just show more red values like a value of 255, for example. 
which is too much red, of course. That's just the brightness of the red. And then this is the detail in the red channel. And this is taking away the darker points of the red channel. And this is bringing up the brighter points and bringing it to 255, if you want it to be all the way, which will basically 255 means everything's completely red. So yeah, that's basically how the individual channels work. Okay, so that, that's out of the way. Now let's move on to something called curves. Curves basically work in a similar fashion, but basically, as you can see right here is your white point, right here is your black point, here is your mid-tones. You're basically taking up the all the RGB right now, because we have RGB selected. Basically, um, you might have heard of a contrast curve before, like this. It's basically taking down the black point, because we're going more towards here, we're going towards the black point area, taking down the black point and raising up the mid-tones and the whites. You can see when we do this, it also raises, here's the histogram right here, raising inside the histogram, but going like this, clips it. You can see, because we're going too far past it. And eventually it'll be too bright, and um, it'll be over, overdone, and it'll basically be completely a white screen where you can't see any detail, because you're clipping it. That's why you don't want to clip in astrophotography. So, yep, and that's basically how it works. And background removal for the vignetting is another video, so we'll do that in another video. But that's basically how a histogram works. All right, guys, looks like that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And have you ever have you ever used the histogram before? Let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my content, please subscribe. Anyways, until next time, clear skies.